basically there were two trials for the Mao year. The first one was the leadership, and the second one was kind of uh, other people uh, who hadn't already pled guilty or, or been uh, had their charges dropped. So in the first trial, they they the prosecution went for a very narrow uh, charge, which was conspiracy to impede federal workers, and basically that that put the, the, the burden of proof on them to prove that their intent, in the conspiracy, you have to prove intent to impede federal workers. So that was a little narrow in that, you know, the defendants could say up there, oh no, we were just occupying this space, and we have cover because we said that the federal workers could go work here if they wanted to. Um, and so that kind of left space for the jurors to say, well, this specific charge doesn't work. And so that's, that's kind of why that happened as well. And I think also, like, there were, one of the jurors came out afterwards and he said, you know, the prosecution was arrogant, they cross-examined Emma Money for like 20 minutes, and the defense, you know, let Emma Money speak for eight hours. And he's a very persuasive man, you know. Uh, in terms of the second trial, I think the federal government kind of, or the, the prosecutors, uh, learned their lesson and said, okay, well, we're going to allow them to have lesser charges as well, which they didn't do in the first trial. So they said, there's a conspiracy charge, but then there's the criminal trespass, there's a destruction of property, and stuff like that, and I think that, that that gave the jurors a little bit more leeway to do something they thought was more appropriate, and it was a different set of jurors as well. And uh, the, the, the first jury was, there was this one juror who came out who seemed very much like, he was very outspoken about it, it was very, it was an interesting thing. Um, I guess I, I have a couple of questions. One is I think that, that the, the Hammonds, um, I mean, you, you were talking about the temperature in Burns as far as you know, attitudes that they mis that they misjudge that. Um, I I think that I mean I've seen a lot of stuff on YouTube and a lot of stuff that these guys have put out on the ranchers. A lot of the ranchers were very. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't characterize it as a model. Um, I don't know of any model that works really well between the BLM um, and the ranchers. And this is a this is an ongoing problem across our, our nation. And I think that a lot of the bewilderment of what these people were doing, while well, everyone's focused on the fact that they're armed, uh, but I think that a lot of the bewilderment about what they want and all of that is because we're all ignorant. We are all incredibly ignorant of what a constitutional republic is, what private property is, what public lands are. There's references here in during the film to government l land. That implies that the government owns the land. They don't. This is public land. It's all of our land. So to say that they don't have a dog in the fight, they do. Oh, sure. They yeah, did. public lands belong to all of us. You know, I think we can all educate ourselves on what a uh, constitutional republic is. And I, and I also do believe, you know, and agree with you in the fact that there are problems with the relationship between the BLM and the, and the federal government, and, or excuse me, the BLM and the ranchers, and how that, and how that happens. I think a lot of it has, has to do with the fact that the BLM is continue to be defunded over and over and over, and they don't have the resources to manage this as well. And I, I know you disagree with me, and that's fine. But um, but yeah, it's public lands. It's for all of them. But grazing you know? rights are private property rights. Um, I, you know, uh, you're gonna have to yeah. maybe talk to someone else about that. But <laughs> but you know, like uh, it is public land. If you're renting a house, it doesn't belong to you. You know, it belongs to the person who owns that. And you do have rights as a, as a rental person, but, and I do believe that, you know, the federal government does lack the resources and sometimes messes up. But at the same time, that doesn't take away from the fact that it belongs to all of us. You know? I have a question back there. 